points to reasons why perhaps that is not a great idea. Yeah, no, there's no question that we shouldn't be moving on. We're, we're seeing new revelations about the interplay between the Clinton Foundation and the State Department on virtually a daily basis now. And again, we're not, this isn't speculation, this isn't something that's coming from Republicans launching accusations without the facts to support them. This is, these are things that we're seeing in black and white in emails between State Department officials, uh, including Hillary Clinton, discussing what would be done for Clinton Foundation donors. I mean, this is a, a huge story, it's a huge problem, and it's the kind of, of story, I think, that would have potentially sunk any other campaign in any normal uh, election year. But the argument from the Clinton campaign, Steve, is that the foundation has done a lot of good in the world. Um, and that nobody was ever given anything with the understanding, uh, you know, no donation was accepted with the understanding that it would parlay anyone in government from another country to get what they wanted from the State Department, that there's no actual evidence of a connection. Well, uh, as the first argument, it's interesting and maybe nice that the Clinton Foundation has done good work. It's also totally irrelevant to the question at hand. The question at hand is whether uh, favors were exchanged for donations made, whether uh, explicitly or implicitly. And the irony to me, I was I spent a better part of the morning this morning going back and rereading uh, the transcript of Hillary Clinton's nomination hearing from January of 2009. And then Senator Dick Lugar, Republican from Indiana, said that the major focus of the nomination, of Hillary Clinton's nomination to be Secretary of State, was the potential conflict of interest between the Clinton Foundation and her service because foreign governments might think that they could be purchasing uh, entree into the State Department by donating to the Clinton Foundation. And that's precisely what we've seen and it's what makes this so stunning and so reckless by the Clintons. We knew this was going to be a problem. They knew this was going to be a problem. They had to draft a, a special memorandum of understanding between the Obama administration and the Clinton Foundation in order to avoid even the appearance of impropriety. Well, here you have something that goes well beyond the appearance of impropriety. You have actual impropriety, and it's in black and white. The Clinton State Department doing favors for donors because they're donors to the Clinton Foundation. You know, there was also a lot of concern in the Obama administration about the foundation right. uh, when they decided to offer her the Secretary of State position. And you talk about the confirmation hearing that followed that. But the Obama administration also was...